Chapter 5 The New Cook One day Robin was walking by the river. He was looking for deer. The forest trees shaded him from the hot sun. He smiled as he thought about the way he had rescued Will. Then he saw a little boat. A very fat man was untying it from a tree. Good morning, sir! cried the man when he saw Robin. Do you want to cross the river? Robin thought about this. He did not want to cross the river, but he thought he would have some fun. Yes, please, he said, and he climbed into the boat. As he rowed across the river, the fat man told his story. My name is Friar Tuck. I had to leave my abbey because I spoke against the Sheriff of Nottingham. Now I row people across the river for a living. When they reached the other side of the river, the fat man said, Let me help you out of the boat, sir. Now you must pay me two gold coins. Robin said, I think I want to cross the river again. Please take me back to the other side. Back to the other side? said Friar Tuck, surprised. But he did as Robin asked. Now, sir, he said, you must pay me four gold coins. I have no gold, said Robin. I will pay you in another way. Climb onto my back, and I will take you across the river. He is having fun with me, said Friar Tuck to himself. A little fun never hurt anyone. He climbed onto Robin's back. And they set off across the river. When they reached the middle, Robin stood up straight. Friar Tuck fell into the water. <coughs> you scoundrel! cried Friar Tuck as he spat out a mouthful of river water. I am no scoundrel! cried Robin, raising his fists. I am Robin Hood! But they did not fight. Instead, they started to laugh. Will you be one of my merry men? said Robin. You are a good boatman, and I think you will be a brave fighter. I am a good cook, too, and I am greedy, <laughs> laughed Friar Tuck. That's why I am so fat. Would you like me to cook for you and the other merry men? I would like that very much, said Robin. Come back to our camp, and you can cook your first dinner for Robin Hood. It was a good dinner. When they had all finished eating, the merry men sat round the fire, talking and laughing. Suddenly, Robin jumped to his feet. Friar Tuck, he said, you have cooked a good dinner for us. Now there is one more thing I would like you to do. Name it, and I will do it. Marion and I have only had half a wedding, said Robin. We have Sir Guy of Gisborne to thank for that. You are a friar. Will you finish our wedding for us? I would like that very much, smiled Friar Tuck.